Hey everyone, this is Will, and in this video, we're gonna talk about creating MIDI routings using Oracle for X-Series. Now, this is one of my favorite features of a MIDI interface from iConnectivity because it allows me to do really complex and crazy routings that would be difficult to do in a, another software or a different platform. I can do them very, very easily in Oracle for X-Series. So let's dive in and I'll show you how simple it is to do. So when I click into the screen, the first thing you see is it's laid out really, it's easy to understand. It's very simple. It's laid out really well. Over on the left side here, we have sources, and our sources are grouped by different types of sources. And sources are essentially just types of inputs. So if I plug a MIDI keyboard into DIN 1, then that source for that particular input is going to be DIN 1. So the list of sources that you see on the left is going to change based on your interface. If you plugged in a Mio XL, it's going to look different than if it's a Mio XM, but it's going to be pretty similar. So we have our DIN inputs at the top here. We have our USB uh, host port inputs listed here. We have all of our inputs that come from our DAW or whatever uh, device is connected to uh, that USB port listed here. And then finally, all our R2P network MIDI inputs that are listed here. And again, those are all under source, which means inputs, things that my interface is receiving. Now on the right hand side here, we have destinations. Now in order to see what destinations are available on your interface, just click into one of these sources. So we'll click on DIN1 for now, and you can see all the destinations that are listed here on my particular interface. Now before before we actually go in and make any MIDI routing changes, let me show you um, one of my favorite features. I didn't know you could do this initially when I uh, first started using Oracle for X-Series, and this makes this so much easier uh, to track down MIDI routings and to keep track of MIDI routings, particularly when you have a lot of them going on and you have a lot of things plugged in and a lot of destinations going to different places. So let's pretend that I have a drum pad plugged into DIN 1 on my interface, okay? And it's super easy to figure figure out, uh, if, in case you're confused, what that input is. So when I look at the front panel here, you see DIN 1, there's my input. That's what we're going to be using. So what I have connected to DIN 1 is a drum pad. So I'm going to click this pencil icon here, and I want to change this from DIN 1, which you know honestly doesn't mean a whole lot to me or you. But drum pad means a lot to me because I know that's what's connected there. So let's change this from DIN 1, and we're going to change this to drum pad, and we're going to hit save. Now let's say in DIN2, we've got a keyboard plugged in, MIDI keyboard. So I'm gonna click this and we're gonna call this, uh, let's call it MIDI controller. Okay, and we'll hit save. That's connected into DIN2. Now what's really cool is everywhere that used to say DIN1 in this particular screen, uh, now says drum pad. Now MIDI controller says MIDI controller. So by renaming my MIDI um, inputs and outputs, my sources and destinations, it makes it really, really easy to track and follow along. So now that we've done that, let's actually do some MIDI routing and let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. So I'm gonna click drum pad here. And again, this is coming into DIN1 and I wanna route this out to, um, let's say RTP1. So in order to route a source to a destination, I've clicked on my source. I'm gonna go over here to RTP1. I'm gonna click that and with that, that's it. I'm taking what's coming from DIN1 and I'm sending that out of RTP1. It's very, very simple. Now let's say we wanna do multiple destinations. So let's send it out of RTP1. Let's have it go to the device that's connected to host port three and let's do RTP7. So I took that one source and I routed that to multiple destinations. It's super simple to do that and make that happen. But what's nice, there's a couple other options here. Let's say I wanna send this drum pad for some reason to every single destination that's available on my interface. I can go up here and click send to all. And I can say, let's send it to all DIN ports, USB host uh, devices, device port, RTP. Let's say it's all going to different computers connected to RTP ports. So let's choose RTP network MIDI. And you'll see that selects all of those without me having to go through and, uh, and select each of those individually. So that's a huge time saver. If you're like me though, uh, you make mistakes. Let's say in the heat of the moment, you're getting ready for the show, you're not thinking straight, you accidentally hit send a wall and you send them to all your RTP ports and you actually just need to, to start back fresh, right? Let's just start over, 
Let's clear things out. And let me look at this one more time clearly. Then there's a great button right to the uh, right of send to all called clear all. And when I select that, that's going to clear all the destinations for that particular source. So what's great is this kind of zeroes everything out for that particular source, that particular input. And I can look back at this screen and go, oh, actually, yeah, I needed that just to go to host to into RTP one, which is great. And that's a really, really nice feature. Now, finally, let me show you uh, a, a great feature that if you find yourself in a situation to where um, you've either borrowing an interface from someone and they've given you permission to do this and you want to start fresh, or you've got yourself in a situation where you're going from one gig to the next, you want to restart. You want to start to where uh, everything is zeroed out as far as MIDI goes. Um, let me show you this really great kind of hidden gem of a feature. So let's back out of our uh, MIDI routing screen here. And we're going to click in the device information uh, blue button right here, this little I. And down at the bottom of this, we have an option that says clear MIDI settings. I'm going to click this. It's going to say, are you sure this is going to erase all MIDI settings? We're going to hit yes. And with this, again, that may sound a little scary. That's going to zero out all of your MIDI settings. I found this to be a super helpful feature um, when I'm either starting fresh with a new Mio XM or Mio XL, or again, I'm going from one show to the next. And maybe the first one had a lot of RTP routing. This one is pretty simple. And I want to just start fresh without doing a factory reset. That clear all MIDI settings is a very helpful feature. So that's a look at the MIDI routings tab in Oracle for X series. If you have any questions about that, uh, or particularly about your interface that was not covered in this video, make sure to reach out to iConnectivity support. And you can find information as always on how to contact iConnectivity support in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.